Hello everyone, welcome to Pharmacy Lectures. Today we are going to discuss general introduction and biosynthesis of digoxin and digitoxin. First, let's talk about the plant Digitalis which contains the glycosides like digoxin and digitoxin. The name Digitalis was given by German author Fusius in his book in 1542. If we want to trace first systematic historical use of Digitalis, we must remember William Withering. He was an English botanist, geologist, chemist and physician. According to the writings of William Withering, Digitalis was believed to slow heart rate, particularly in patients with an irregular pulse. Digoxin and Digitoxin are cardiac glycoside that has been used since the early 20th century to improve symptoms and reduce hospitalization in patients with heart failure with reduced left ventricular ejection fraction LVEF as well as to control rapid ventricular rate in patients with atrial fibrillation. Digoxin and Digitoxin comes from the foxglove plant known as Digitalis purpurea, Digitalis lanata and other foxglove species. Foxglove is a popular garden ornamental and numerous hybrids and cultivars have been developed in a range of colors. Digoxin received approval from the FDA in 1954 and is used to treat various heart problems such as atrial flutter, atrial fibrillation, heart failure with its associated symptoms and to induce fetal demise prior to an abortion. Digoxin and digitoxin are very similar compounds, but there are key differences due to which the use of digitoxin is very limited. Digoxin is the preferred cardiac glycosides worldwide, but digitoxin is commonly prescribed to adults in Norway. Digitoxin, which has a half-life of 5 to 7 days compared to 1 to 2 days for digoxin. Digitoxin is extensively metabolized by the liver before excretion and digoxin is excreted mainly unaltered by the kidneys. Now let's discuss the biosynthesis of digoxin and digitoxin. The biosynthesis of digoxin and digitoxin starts from acetyl coenzyme A and there is formation of cholesterol. The conversion of cholesterol from acetyl coenzyme A is skipped here and we'll only discuss uh, the biosynthesis from cholesterol. The cholesterol in presence of cofactors like oxygen and NADPS and the enzyme cholesterol monooxygenase, it is converted to 20, 22 dihydroxy cholesterol. You can see question number 20 and 22, there are two hydroxy group. Again, in presence of same cofactors and same enzyme, uh, this 20-22 dihydroxy compound is converted to pregnenolone. We can see this side chain is cleaved off here. Again, in presence of NAD plus and 3 beta hydroxy steroid dehydrogenase, we can see this dehydrogenase it has oxidized the position number third secondary alcohol to a ketonic group. Now in presence of enzyme keto steroid isomerase, we can see this ketonic group, it is converted to an enolic group. There is enol <coughs> group formation. And again in presence of same enzyme keto steroid isomerase, we can see the double bond at position number 5 and 6 is eliminated and the double bond at position number 3rd and 4th is shifted to position number 4th and 5th and the hydroxy is converted to ketonic group and this moiety is called progesterone. Again from this progesterone in presence of NADPH and enzyme progesterone 5 beta reductase we can see the there is reduction of double bond of person number 4th and 5th and here it is written 5 beta because the hydrogen at person number 5 it has beta configuration. Here beta configuration means this hydrogen is at front of the plane. Next, in presence of NADPH and enzyme 3 beta hydroxy steroid dehydrogenase, there is formation of 3 beta hydroxy 
5 beta pregnan 20 ohm let's see the changes here <coughs> the change is the ketonic group a position number 3 is converted to a secondary alcohol and this secondary alcohol has a beta configuration you can see this uh, bold line this bold line indicates this hydroxy is front of the plane next 14 beta hydroxylation and inversion of stereochemistry we can see the hydrogen at position number 14 it is of alpha state alpha means the it is back of the plane and now we can see the hydroxyl group it is front of the plane so here it is written inversion of stereochemistry and position number 14 is hydroxylated <coughs> and the name of this compound is 3 beta 14 beta dihydroxy 5 beta pregnan 20 ohm next 21 hydroxylation we can see there is a hydroxyl group attached to position number 21 carbon and the name of this new compound is 3 beta 14 beta 21 trihydroxy 5 beta pregnan 20 ohm next in presence of melonyl coenzyme a uh, there is formation of new compound where melonyl coenzyme A is incorporated to this compound and the name of this new compound where melonyl coenzyme A is incorporated is DZ toxigeny and this incorporation we can see in this incorporation uh, there is a formation of lactone moiety and this lactone this carbon 0 carbon alpha and carbon beta this is alpha beta unsaturated five membered lactone next digitoxyzenin in presence of enzyme digitoxin to where the beta hydroxylase gets converted to digoxyzenin here the key difference is at position number 12 at position number 12 there is a hydroxyl group in digoxyzenin and there is a hydrogen or CH2 group as digitoxyzenin and digoxyzenin in presence of and in presence of UDP digitoxose there is formation of digoxin and we can see this digitoxose sugar is bind to urid uridine diphosphate and then only this digitoxose can be incorporated to digoxygenin and there are three digitoxose moiety one digitoxose second digitoxose and third digitoxose and after the incorporation of three digitoxose moiety then only there is formation of digoxin and on the other hand in digitoxygenin there is also incorporation of digitoxose sugar with the help of UDP digitoxose here also uh, three digitoxose sugar are attached by beta 1 4 configuration we can see this position number 1, 2, 3, 4 and this position number 1. So there is 1, 4 addition of digitoxose sugar. And in this way, the digitoxin and digoxin is formed in plants. So this was all about the biosynthesis of digoxin and digitoxin. See you again in next video. Thank you for watching.